Hey there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Wonder Woman 1975 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Lerner played the character Kirk in the TV series when he was 40 years old in 1975. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on July 15, 2009, he left us after natural causes at 74 in Ventura, California. We're really feeling the loss. Drusilla, my dear, listen to me. I sent you, a young girl, into a strange land to do a woman's job. Now, it's true, you made mistakes. She was uh, one of the, uh, you know, the Johnson & Johnson oh my. family. Whoa. So every time you put her on a band-aid or something. Lyle Wagner played the character Colonel Steve Trevor Jr. He was 40 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on March 17, 2020, he left us after cancer at 85 in Westlake, California. We're really feeling the loss. You're not keeping you from any important work. Positive. As a matter of fact, I'm stumped with a problem that has to do with $2 bills. Maybe touring this place will give me some idea. Been in them. I know the Queen has because mm -hmm. she made a very interesting uh, suggestion on a floor plan change. You see, we had a makeup area. S. Pearl Sharp played the character Eve in the TV series when she was 33 years old in 1975. Here she is at a cool 82, chilling in Cleveland, Ohio, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. So you were one of the brightest, most able, mature cops I ever worked with. All right, go ahead and say it. So you saved my life. I'm trying to return the favor if I can. I'm not talking about that. Lifestyle is right, because the healing is as necessary today as it was 50 years ago, 100 years ago, maybe more so, because today I think we think we're free. Linda Carter played the character Diana Prince. She was 24 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Check it out, at 73 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Phoenix, Arizona. I can't let him go. You have to. If I don't play along with them, if I don't sell them my beach club. My and as he said, walked her down the aisle and, and really was the, was the man in, in, in her life. She, but she did every detail. Ever. Deborah Winger played the character Drusilla. She was 20 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Here she is at a cool 69, chilling in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Well, it was amazing and Officer and Gentleman wasn't so much the director, but we had bad men running the show, and so it kind of, you know, dirties the... Dak Ramble played the character Andros in the TV series when he was 34 years old in 1975. March 21st, 1994 was a tough one. He left us due to AIDS at 53 years old in Delano, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Peters, what are they? The Skrill? A plague. Sickness, but deadly. <laughs> that is awful. What mother was named their child Ormond? I don't think it was so much my mother. I think it was more my father who was who was trying. But... Tim O'Connor played the character Andros. He was 48 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. Sadly, on April 5, 2018, he left us due to cancer at the age of 91 in Nevada City, California. His passing deeply saddens us. The allies against the Nazis. No. I'm sworn to certain regulations. I must remain neutral, even though General Blankenship hopes that Aaron, Aaron Gray, I work with Aaron. In a series with Rogers in the Pink Street some many years ago. I liked it. Richard Eastham played the character General Phil Blankenship in the TV series when he was 59 years old in 1975. It's with a heavy hearts that I've got to tell you that on July 10th, 2005, he left us after Alzheimer's disease at 89 in Pacific Palisades, California. We're really feeling the loss. That's about it. You're right. And let's just be thankful he's alive. Oh, believe me, I am, General Blankenship. See you later, Marsha. <laughs> Norman Burton played the character Joe Atkinson. He was 52 years old when the TV series ran in 1975. November 29th, 2003 was a tough one. 
He left us due to auto accidents at 80 years old in California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Here. Yes, that should please him. It's too bad you weren't there to witness this um, magical transformation, Dan. I have a reasonable voice and so on. And, uh, I just get out there and uh, become an animal in some strange way. Michael Shannon played the character Cameron in the TV series when he was 32 years old in 1975. Here he is, at a cool 81, chilling in Chicago, Illinois, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Right, right Diane. Beatrice Colin played the character Etta Candy in the TV series when she was 27 years old in 1975. Sadly, on November 18, 1999, she left us due to lung cancer at the age of 51 in Los Angeles, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. Edda, this is confidential. Yes, sir, absolutely. 